In an emotional interview with US show Modern Hero, the Duchess described her marriage to Prince Andrew as the best thing I ever did. The 58-year-old Duchess, who affectionately goes by the nickname Fergie, described her former husband as a total gentleman. She said, "He is one of the kindest people ever." Certainly the best thing I have ever done is married him in 1986. My love for Andrew conquered everything. The couple enjoyed a fairy tale wedding at Westminster Abbey in 1986. However, Sarah said the couple did not fight hard enough to keep their marriage on track. With Prince Andrew often going away for long stretches of time with the Royal Navy, the couple did not see much of each other. Fergie revealed that this made her feel abandoned as the Duchess revealed she only saw her husband for 40 days a year for the first five years of their marriage. She said, it was really really difficult, and I think it just played into my abandonment and we both agreed that we didn't fight hard enough to keep it together. Sarah and Andrew's marriage broke down in 1992, fueled by the publication of scandalous pictures which appeared to show the Duchess having her toes sucked by Texan financial advisor John Bryan while on holiday in France. The couple divorced four years later. Fergie said that following the split she hit rock bottom. She added, I completely and utterly destroyed myself. I murdered myself. I must have brought that on to myself because that's how I felt about myself. Self-hatred at its height. However, since their divorce Sarah and Andrew have remained close and currently share a house together at Windsor's Royal Lodge. She said, now our life together is the greatest ever. It's so hard to comprehend because we are not normal. This is our fairy tale and we are telling it our way. In October they put on a united front at their daughter Princess Eugenie's wedding to Jack Brooks Bank, with many royal fans calling for the couple to get back together.